This video is brought to you by RogueDeckBuilder.com. Purchase a playmat today and help us make the move to our new studio. We have over 10 playmats to choose from. Visit RogueDeckBuilder.com. Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Here continuing our top 10 list. At our number 6 slot is a card that probably should be higher, but it's very difficult in the Return to Ravnica Theros to brew with. It doesn't have the enablers that the Innistrad, especially Battle Him. Um, I, I would love to have Battle Him reprinted just one more time in M15 and then get some abuse out of Young Pyromancer to be able to generate just insane amount of mana. It seems like if you're going to go the generating a lot of mana, there's two routes you can go. One is with Crypt Ghast, which is very, very vulnerable in the format right now because every deck is running insane amount of removal. It dies to basically everything but Abrupt Decay. So, I mean, it does have that going for it. It dodges Doomblade and Abrupt Decay, but you, if you have to stick the Crypt Gas and then rely on a bunch of swamps to tap a bunch of mana, it's very hard uh, to splash it in any other colors because you want to utilize as many swamps as possible. And, of course, the other card that you can use to generate an insane amount of mana would be Nike the Shrine of Nyx. And again, those type of decks want permanence in, in, on the battlefield to increase the devotion and then especially green with Voyaging Seder uh, to untap it. And it doesn't really work with the card I'm talking about. So this card is very, again, very, 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 has a special place in my heart because it kind of started my channel. Uh, I got kind of lucky. I think that the, the the first, I did a series of videos, I ended up taking them down because I had some uh, music on it that uh, could easily get flagged for copyright. And, and if you, anyone that, that runs a YouTube channel knows that is really, really bad if, you're, if your channel gets like copyright strikes and whatnot. So I took it down and uh, those were Dorkblade decks. I uh, used a bunch of like Sword and Feast and Famine, Sword of War and Peace and put it on a bunch of uh, Elvish or Land of War Elves, Birds of Paradise at the time. And that video series didn't get, get very many views. But the next one, which was Epic Experiment, which is the card in number six, got a ton of videos and it kind of uh, jump started my channel. So, of course, I'll always like Epic Experiment. And it's very difficult to try to build an epic experiment deck in today's standard. What I used to do was generate a bunch of tokens and use Battle Him to do a ton of mana. And then the cool thing about the tokens was they could be actually cast off of epic experiment as they were instances or sorceries. I'm talking about lingering souls. I mean, like right now you could use Raising Alarms. I just... I really wish the Battle Hymn would have been reprinted in one of these sets because with Young Pyromancer, with like Raise the Alarms, with even like Triplicate Spirits and Perforos, Epic Experiment, you have a nice little kill condition with Perforos and those tokens. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So I am trying to do a, a deck with Epic Experiment. Let me pull it up here on, on MTGO. So here it is. This is the Epic Experiment. Only two copies because I think we're going to... We're just going to keep drawing cards until we find our epic experiment. I think I have one more. No, I haven't had one more in the sideboard. I think I I may want to put one more, but it, this is basically we're going to we're going to turbo fog until we find an epic experiment and we're going to try to try to win by young pyromancer or creating a ton of tokens or gutter snipe going off the epic experiment or just getting epic experiment up high enough that you can cast the stoke the flames and war leaders helixes. So we're going to generate mana through Xanagos, which is a battle him type effect. So Young Pyromancer is going to generate tokens for Xanagos. And we'll just control the board and tell that we can get enough mana to actually do a big epic experiment. So that's the gist of the deck. Again, I think I need to add one more epic experiment here. So we actually... The problem with this is... All these cards either need a gutter snipe out. So that again, if we, we, we have a gutter snipe out and we epic experiment, and even if we have to cast these fogs and defend the hearths and druids deliverance, they still actually deal two damage. And again, I I just don't know about putting another epic experiment in here. Uh, what I do, maybe for a young pyromancer or a Xanagos. And we'll we'll try it. Since I want this to be an epic experiment deck, I think we'll we'll throw out a Xenagos over to the sideboard and we can take out one of these uh, Heroes Union Reunions and that way now even though now we have our, our huge mana generator we can still cast an Epic Experiment for, for pretty high and again maybe I want to go to to let's go three Gutter Snipes. I think Gutter Snipes actually 
one of the cards that we need to hit. Maybe four gutter snipes and two young pyromancers. I think I'm going to try this list here. Four gutter snipes, two young pyromancers, two xanagos, and just a bunch of, of creatures. And then when we do get up to epic experimenting off, uh, hopefully it will be a kill condition with gutter snipe. That's that's really the best I can think of right now with epic experiment. That's the only way I think we can we can get enough mana to actually produce a huge epic experiment. In the past, of course, this this uh, card I can see it seeing play in storm again. Uh, it's not unheard of to get an insane amount of mana with epic experiment. And then again, if you have a card, uh, you just have to have experiment into your 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 uh, grape shot. It casts all the other mana producing cards. So I think that someone eventually will go back to that route because it's it's one of those cards you can top deck in Storm and then come back. Like like one of the problems with Storm is if they they've locked you down with thought seizes or you've just had a bad draw and get mana flooded, that Epic Experiment can actually come back from that. And even just a few a few of the rituals into Epic Experiment, I mean you only have to cast it for I would say the two mana plus five because you want to be able to cast at least the pass in flames and then just hope to get enough of the mana producing cards and then and cast the all those mana producing cards cast pass in flames and then you can cast everything else in your graveyard so anywho epic experiment great card very fun card probably should be higher up on the list but it, again it's very difficult right now in standard to brew with it so it's coming in at number six so anyway let's just again we on the sideboard i have a little bit of control with just unravel the ether i think that there might be some problematic cards we need to get rid of with Unravel the Aether. I've got a Karanos in the sideboard. Again, so we'll bring it in versus Control. We can kind of switch over into a Planeswalker route. Two Kioras, two Xanagoses, Plasm Capture for those mid-range. Uh, we have Life Gain versus the, the incredibly aggressive decks. And more Life Gain with Riot Control. So all in all, I think that I think we have a pretty good uh, matchup versus the field. We'll have to see how well it works. Again, this might look a lot like Maze's End. The one thing that we do have over Maze's End, we don't have to play as many lands because we're not relying on lands to actually win. And so our mana base is a lot better because things don't automatically come into play tapped. I'm sure the Young Pyromancer or Gutter Snipe can just full out take games. We're going to bring in Young Pyromancer versus decks that uh, Young Pyromancer just plain wins. Like Mono Green, any sort of creature based deck, it's going to be very hard for him to get, get around as many fog effects. Now, I, am not, I don't have ways to draw additional cards like the old... Uh, Maze Zen does, but we do have just the sheer power of, of overwhelming the board with either Gutter Sniper or Young Pyromancer and think we can temple them out before they actually kill us. That's the idea. Again, these are all, what do you want to call these? Kind of like virgin decks is what I like to call them. They haven't been tested yet. So when I a lot of times when I do these decks, they have a lot of kinks to remove. And you guys get to see like the very, very first play testing of these decks. And sometimes like my Jun Dredge deck or other decks that I've been, uh, the Bug Immortal Servitude deck, that have actually become very competitive decks by the end of, of me playtesting, they change a lot. But they start out with a crazy idea, then I start cutting the fat and actually putting in cards that, that work against the metagame, and then we have a good deck. So I think if I had like three weeks, I could actually make this deck work. But we're just going to play a few games like the other top cards and then get on to our, the rest of our, our top ten list. Going to be very sad to see this guy go. Epic experiment number six. This has been Rogue Deck Builder. Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.